and welcome to Cozy Reading Night. <laughs> it is about an hour until the kickoff for Cozy Reading Night. I always say kickoff, which is quite apt because David's just been watching football. Um, and tonight's Cozy Reading Night is in conjunction with Independent Bookshop Week, um, which is a, uh, a a week we enjoy, isn't it, David? We it is we we nipped to our um, our local localish localish um, independent bookshop Harbour Books in Whitstable and bought a whole host of books for this evening. I will link that video down below if you'd like to see me go book shopping. Um, but yeah, so tonight in an hour we're going to get kicking with it. Um, I'm going to alternate between two books tonight. I'm going to alternate between Leave the World Behind by Ruman Alam, which I was. Uh, another book I bought on that book haul, uh, on that bookshop haul, bookshop video, um, was um, This One Sky Day, which a lot of people had said to me, oh, I think you'll really enjoy it. Um, and I was very much considering it, but then I've just finished Severance, um, and this sounds a little bit like that, and I loved Severance so much, so I'm going to read that, and then I'm going to alternate it chapter by chapter with this non-fiction book, Unwell Women, A Journey Through Medicine and Myth in a Man-Made World, um, by Eleanor Cleghorn. So yeah, I'm really, really looking forward to that. Now, David had two options. Well, I've just seen you pick up this one, but I was thinking, why don't you, when we settle down to it, why don't you read the first page of both and then decide which one you're going to read? No, I've already decided. Oh, he's already decided. Okay, and what are you going to be reading? I'm going to be reading The Black Kids by Christina. I mean, I was going Christina to read Christina Hammond's Reed. Yeah. The front cover of that is fantastic, isn't it? Yeah, Set in Los Angeles cool. in the 90s. Yeah, that's what. David, really have you it. read a physical book this year? Yes, I've read. Two or three. Oh, well done. Books but this, this you're hoping cozy reading night. David does the majority of his reading during cozy reading nights, so you need to get yourself really I need going to get with myself, it. Yeah, it's because the last book I read, I didn't love, and then no. I've kind of struggled to get back into it since. So hopefully you'll love that. Hopefully this will be my. Hopefully. Book. So those are the books, and the plan is, as I said, it is an hour before cozy reading night starts. David's making. Pizzas. Pizzas. David has got so good at pizzas. My cunning plan has paid off because Minnie, not me, it was Minnie, bought um, David the Pizza Pilgrim's book for Christmas and you've just got so good at pizza, haven't you? I have. To the point now, we don't even really bother getting pizza from anywhere else because guess where the best pizza comes from? Show the hands. <laughs> So yeah, so David's going to be making pizza, so he's going to head off to do that. Um, and I've changed, uh, David and I have moved this chair around so that in the bay window you can just sit and read. Which You're I basking. Did, I just, uh, did you covered your face up? Which we did for one cosy reading night last year and I loved it. So yeah, I'm just going to sit here and it means I can have a little peep at people walking past as well, which I very much enjoy. So oh, join like us peep. back here at seven o'clock when it's kicked off. And uh, yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. Are you, David? I am. Mainly the pizza. Mainly pizza and bookies. Yes, nice. See you then. We are 10 minutes before the start of Cozy Reader Night. David has set up the cutest little pizza production line. That's what I do every time. It's so cute. I think normally I'm just sitting in there thinking, where's you're my just, pizza? You're just sitting there waiting. But I must show you David's cute pizza production line. So here we go. Over here are the proved doughs, which, which have gone massive. massive, haven't they? They have gone really big. And then here is mozzarella which drying he's out. drying it out because he's just the cutest boy ever this is a little label he's made for his flour double o flour for pizza and then over here we've got some pizza toppings so i mean this mutty pizza sauce which is yeah. fabulous some basil which is the most Very smelliest strong, basil ever it? tiny little parmigiano no, mozzarella much, um, what's that doing well I might, i'm gonna put a bit of sweet corn on one of them just Something else I cool. quite like having is a cambazola yeah. with some courgette ribbons on it. Well done, David. With your, so you're about to start. So David's going to get kicking. You're probably going to start reading about 20 past, maybe? Yeah, probably about more. 20 past. And or maybe half past because I don't really like to read and eat. So. Do you know what I am going to have, though, David, while I'm in it? Just to get myself ready. Do you know what I, have you got anything nice to drink tonight? No, uh, just busy water, but I love busy water, so I'm, well, good, I'm good with that. I've got this alcohol-free Sauvignon Blanc. Which I haven't tried, but I might find it disgusting. Oh, my root beer. Root beer. Go on, open it now so we can try it. I'm going to get a glass so I can have a, so I can have a Sauvignon Blanc. Root beer. What is root beer? I don't really know. I bought that for you, didn't I? I not knowing whether or not you'd actually like it. Oh, this is nice. Oh, I don't know. Have you tried it? No, but this stinks. Oh my God, it stinks. It smells like mouthwash. 
It's not as bad as it smells, but not a fan. That just tastes like mouthwash. Yeah. Is that what all root beers taste like? What flavour is it? It's just this root beer. Oh, I hate it. Oh dear. I absolutely. It tastes like cream. It tastes like Cream soda, but with mouthwash in it. It just tastes like mouthwash. Blah. Right, let's oh, go in. I'm no. going to go back over to my reading station. Can you do that and I'll With my glass of alcohol, we, we, <laughs> alcohol, we wine. <laughs> alcohol free wine and enjoy that. Shall we get going with the reading? Oh God, I am so happy. I'm going to actually open this window, which means I can have a window open because Minnie's not going to get out of it because I'm literally facing it. So I can sit and read in the sunshine with the window open. I'm starting with Unwell Women. So I'm going to read the um, the introduction to that, which I think is about 20. It is 19 pages long. So I'm going to start with that. What well, another lovely thing about shopping from independent bookshops is that sometimes the books are just signed because Eleanor Cleghorn went and did an event, um, a Zoom event at um, Harbour Books and signed loads of books. And I think I've got the last, I actually think I got the last copy of this because I'd seen it on their Instagram and was desperate for it. So yeah, I'm going to read the first, the, the introduction of this. I am so looking forward to this. So let's get going, shall we? With me wine. Cheers. Happy to read night. Oh, that's nice. Nicer than that root beer. We are taught that medicine is the art of solving our body's mysteries. What a line. The first pizza has arrived. David says he's not happy with his dough, but I think it looks bloody amazing. The only thing I will say is that the cutting is mental. <laughs> There's like this massive piece and then loads of smaller pieces. Look at that next next big piece. So yeah, oh, pizza's good, isn't it? So yes, I'm going to um, settle down and enjoy my first bit of pizza. I'm still on the introduction of Unwell Women, very much enjoying it, particularly as I've been, I've been thinking a lot about women's health recently, what with how p painful my periods are all the time. Um, so yeah, this is uh, just reiterating everything I already thought really, but I'm, I'm, I already can tell I'm really gonna like it, so onwards and upwards and let's have a bit of pizza well that's the introduction done of unwell women i've selected my reading women um <laughs> bookmark to put in here brilliant introduction i love a hype and i feel like introductions are the hype aren't they they're the little this is what you've got coming and it sounds really good so yeah part one is bit so it's done in history um and part one is ancient greece to the 19th century and the first chapter is called wandering wombs but never mind wandering wombs for the moment i'm going to start get that over there the first chapter i haven't got a, i haven't got a um, bookmark for this leave the world behind by rumal alarm would you please bear with me while i go and get a, got to be careful not to i've eaten one slice of pizza so far don't want an up it end that while i'm going to, on a bookmark hunt oh god <laughs> so much stuff i could potentially knock over what bookmarks shall I go for? This is where I keep my bookmarks. I'll go for... <laughs> I mean, you wouldn't believe that I'm putting this much effort into it, would you? I'll go for a little women bookmark. Which says... Now and then, things do happen in delightful storybook fashion, and what a comfort it is. So yeah, let's get to the first chapter of... Oh, I've just up it. I had those cushions. You know when you've got cushions in, like, perfect... They've almost moulded to you. I upended one, and that's... But there we go, they're back again now. I'm really in. Right, let's go for the first chapter. Is David still cooking pizza? So he hasn't even started reading yet. Let's go for the first chapter of leave the world behind and somebody commented saying I challenge you not to want to read the whole thing in one sitting so let's see well the sun was shining is the first chapter it's the first line David has finished all the pizzas are you oh exhausted God, David I'm, I'm sweltering it gets very hot in that kitchen <laughs> at the best of times let alone when you've got the grill the grill and the hob on he cooks the pizzas on the hob first they cook underneath and then puts them under the grill so yeah, so how many pizzas are there? Four. 
Well, there's five, but there's one just left out there. The last yeah. one's my least favourite. So we'll we do. never eat all of them. We always keep them for the next day, which are still delicious. But my God, it's a you have to really. Oh, come and show everybody your sweat. <laughs> Look at that. You might be best to have a shower. I think I'm gonna have to. You know what? Now you're gonna no, eat first. I'm eating. I'm starving. Oh. Uh, I've got to uh, take my antibiotic before I eat. He's got to take his antibiotic before he eats. Um, this is delicious. So yes, yeah, very nice. And I'm about to have another slice. And I've just finished the first chapter of Leave the World Behind by Ruman Allen. Already building. So what I didn't realise about this. So the, the premise of this book is that um, a couple, or well, I thought it was a couple, but it's actually a family, are on holiday in a sort of... Um, uh, a remote holiday home um, and uh, an older couple turn up and say that they own this holiday home and they've come here because there's been a complete blackout in the city where they live uh, where this family's from as well and um, because they haven't got any internet signal or anything like that or phone signal um, they can't check that that's true so yeah it's um, it says is the holiday home a truly safe place for their families and are they safe from one another so I think it's going to really build on some suspense little short chapters as well so i'll probably get a lot more of this read today than i will of this because of the the shortness of the chapters david you sit up at the table to eat your pizza oh, just by a window just by a window to cool down so yeah so that's the um the first chapter of both of those and it's 20 to 8 um so yeah so i'm going to um to crack on with the the next bit i'm gonna get some more some different flavored pizzas now because there's a cambazola and courgette one over there that i want to get my hands on oh, oh, oh. Come on then, Minnie, you're going to read your book. <laughs> would you like it if Minnie had a little book? I'd love it. What stories would Minnie like? Um, Come on, baby. One's about. Come on. I don't know. Um, how um, are you liking your book? Yeah, I like it. I mean, I'm only 12 pages in, but very I'm good. very much enjoying it already. Tell me what's happened so far. Nothing's really happened. It's kind of just setting the story of. Um, so the uh, what's so Ashley is the lead character, and it's kind of just setting the story of all of her mates. Yeah. And then so it's set in nineteen ninety two, and it's when um, Rodney King. Yeah. When he got beaten half to death. Yeah. By a lot of police officers. So um, so it's kind of happened. So it's already happened because it happened in ninety one, and this starts in ninety two. Yeah. So I think you're about to find out that the police officers. I think they get off. All oh, right. Okay. I I I think that's what. It's good so far, is it? Yeah, it's good so oh, far. good. Okay, so I've read two chapters of both of my books. We're just coming up to half past eight. Um, and yeah, it's going really well. This is going to be very gripping. So these chapters are much longer. So I said I'd alternate. Um, but I think what I might do is I might read one more chapter of this and then start on two... Sorry. <laughs> start on two chapters of that. I've now moved over to the sofa. I might move back over there. I just want it to be next to you for a little bit, David. Thank you. I might put my pyjamas on. That might be a good idea, actually. Yeah. Right, Minnie. What are you going to do? Because I need to turn the camera off. You're just going to sit there being beautiful. You're Hello. such a purrer. You are. Mummy's got reading to do. The next chapter, Minnie, it's called Possessed and Polluting. And I'm looking forward to it. Put in, oh, just having a little look. Oh, do people do that? Look at the length of the next chapter. Do Sometimes. Are you going to sit if down? If I fall in half asleep, I'll have a little look. But we're not at the moment because it's only half past eight. Yeah, we're all right for the minute. I don't need to. He needs a bookmark. He needs a bookmark. Has he got his bookmark? He's got his bookmark. What one have you got? Oh. Franklin. So. David's oh. got. Oh. David's got Franklin's flying bookshop. You like that bookmark, don't you? I like that bookmark. Cute. Oh, 
Oh, she's not doing it now. Minnie's literally just been, she's, a, I mean, she's still asleep. She just raised her ears. Oh, she's, she's been awake now. laying there snoring in the cutest little snores. You do yeah. them. What snores are they? Like um, uh, Pegasus. Me, 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 me. Not quite that cute, but still cute. That's how I snore, isn't it, David? Mm -hmm. We are into the last hour. I've, into ju the <laughs> I've just finished. Oh, actually, I want to have a cup of tea and um, oh, a cookie. You don't want a cup of tea or a cookie? I don't think. I don't think. I don't think we should. I don't think we should. We felt a bit sick after our pizza, but we think it's because we absolutely bolted it down. Um, but also, there's the um, my my niece got a little sickness bug from nursery. My sister has had the sickness bug. Now my sister's husband's got the sickness bug. <laughs> so um, yeah, we were feeling a bit worried that maybe we'd caught the sickness bug as we saw my sister yesterday. Nobody had been sick at that point. Um, but yeah, but. We, we also think maybe we've got in our own heads about it. Sometimes you do, sometimes I do do that. Anyway, um, I have now read two chapters and the introduction of Unwell Women. Very much enjoying it. Just read a chapter mainly, but about other things, about um, witchcraft and women being accused of witches because of their work and health and things like that. Um, and was sort of reading things out to David and David actually said to me, I don't think I want you to tell me anything like that anymore because it's making you feel a bit funny, wasn't it? it Are was. you still reading now? Yeah. Oh my God, he's so good. He's read 30 pages of his book. How 34 is it? 34 pages. 34 pages. How is it? Yeah, I like it. It's good. Good. Are you very much enjoying it? Yes, I am. Good, good. And David's challenge is to I keep reading this. Um, trailers, chapters. Is to keep reading this and get it finished because you've, you've attempted a few books this year, haven't you? You've only finished um, two. Well, you, I, I mean, you've started your... Like, you started that, your Nick's the Stone. only book that I've started to read and I haven't finished was that Shuri one. No, you started another Nick Stone last time. We yeah, but I've only read one chapter, but I've got to read this. Yeah. So that's why <laughs> I've stopped got... reading that. <laughs> so I would have carried on reading that. Yeah, but you're going to carry on with this to completion mm -hmm. and then you'll start that. Anyway, so that I might be done with that for the evening. I've read... Like 57, lady, don't I, yeah. you are a little cute old lady, I've read 57 pages of that and then as I said, so, uh, but I've read two chapters of this and I've only read 11 pages so I think maybe, yeah because some of the chapters, I mean look at this, David you're saying you've got long chapters, look at these chapters, one, they're short boys, super short, so I, I think, like super short chapters, do you? Mm -hmm. Oh, I think I might now read a few chapters of this because I think maybe if I've got to page 50 on that, it'd be nice to have read, well, 57 or whatever. Nice to have read that amount as well. And I think this is probably, I'm, I'm not going to be satiated just reading like a, these many pages for a chapter, two pages. I'm going to want more. But maybe I will go and make a cup of tea. You don't want a cup of tea? I think I'll have a cup of tea, but I definitely don't want a cookie a little nibble of a cookie and just see how I get on with it, all right? I'm in my pyjamas now. Do I look comfy? You look very comfy. Do you wish you were in it? You've got a little bit of football going on on your lap. Just keep a little eye on it. He's cheeky, isn't he? What football is it, David? Explain it's to everybody. Italy versus Austria in the last, in the round of, uh, sorry, in the last 16 round. Oh, and what's the score? Nil nil. He's got a little eye on it while yeah, he's doing I'm some reading. Yeah, I'm just keeping an eye on it. We'll let him, shall we? All right, we'll let him. Right, I'm in my pajamas. We're only in the last half hour, so in fact, that's going to be half time soon anyway. So then you'll get a little moment, won't you? I'm going to stop at any time. Oh yeah, you can stop at any time. Um, yeah. So I suppose I'll continue on with leave the world behind. It's building up some suspense in sort of like a monotonous holiday way. The mother of the family's just been to the shop and bought like all the sort of mad stuff that you buy when you're on holiday. Not so much mad stuff, but like, oh, treat myself to some posh tomatoes and oh, let's just have this for dinner tonight. Let's just have hot dogs and courgette zucchini, they call it in here, because it's America and in England we call we call courgettes courgettes. Isn't courgette a um compared to like the American people, might even be just all North American people. Um, call courgette zucchini and we call them courgette. <laughs> I love like zucchini is a cool It name. sounds much um, more fun. And also, what do you think about um, cilantro instead of coriander? I like cilantro. Of course, David Wood, he likes American pronunciation. Well, it also sounds so. quite Italian. 
Yeah, I wonder if it is the Italian, the Italian way to name. say coriander. Yeah. No, because coriander isn't Italian. Coriander is, I think it's like, well, Asian, isn't it? It's in a lot of Asian food. Mm. Anyway, back to chapter four. Clay bound the towel around his waist. Shall we say that's the end, David? This is the end. It's 10 o'clock. We've got a peppermint tea, a peppermint tea and a pair of pyjamas on mm. each. And it's been lovely, hasn't it? It's been a while it's since we've done nice. a cosy reading night. Not yeah. since lockdown, has it? No. Because we've been out of lockdown for a while now. Exactly. Hopefully never to go back. Thank you so much for joining in um, with Cozy Reading Night and watching the vlog. And I hope you had a lovely time doing your reading or, or just watching the vlog. Um, and yeah, thanks again to Independent Bookshop Week for uh, Books in My Bag for, for collabing with me on this. I um, hope you guys are all avid independent bookshop shoppers. Um, I think we need to get down to Margate, David, and get ourselves to another independent bookshop. Yeah. And then eventually... Oh, that one near the beach? Yeah. That's a nice one, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. I think it's called the Margate Bookshop. And then eventually get up to London and go in some bookshops. Oh, foils, how I wish to be inside of you again. That will happen soon, <laughs> won't it? You quite like foils, don't you? I don't What's like your favourite independent bookshop in London when we've been? I don't know I what know I've which one you like. To. What? Forbidden Planet. Yeah, that's not a bookshop though, is it? Yeah. Oh, yeah, this. All those books downstairs? Yes, then. Yeah, there. Yes. Get there. Get shopping. Do you just do a little pop off? <laughs> right, let's end the vlog there. <laughs> Fell out. <laughs> Say goodbye. Sorry. Bye. bye. <laughs>